I uh, just walked like seven miles to the art store to get paper and realized that I left the fucking paper there. So I have to go back now. This is how we're starting today. Here. I walked seven miles for this. You yeah. walked seven miles for something else that you left three and a half miles into your vlog. <laughs> Jeez. Oh shit. Yo. What up? Hi. Look at that toaster strudel croissant. I just walked like seven miles to get it for Alex. She's probably not even gonna eat it. How was uh me me Meninger? Meninger's was what? great, except for the fact that I walked there to get paper and I left it there. Yeah. Today's already off to a bang up start. Yesterday. Day two of the Twitter ban. It's either yesterday or the day before. Okay, so the I don't want to watch that Michael Jackson thing. Neither uh, do we, Joe. So yeah, neither, neither do we. So the first ban came from they tweeted out that the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy reinstated or whatever. And I don't even know like what he got. I know that he had said some shit. I don't know what it was. I'm assuming it was either racist or sexist. There was a tweet saying that he was reinstated and that whole article was basically about how he was a good example of a road to redemption that he had gone about his redemption a different way. And I didn't read anything about it because I really don't fucking care. But this lady had tweeted this whole fucking shit about how this is just the world letting, you know, a piece of shit survive basically and he shouldn't be allowed to feed his family and thrive <laughs> this that and a third and i just wrote Man. we should kill him because <laughs> because you're you're I'm making fun saying, of her like saying, yeah, yeah all right let's just fucking kill the guy at this yeah. point like I mean, everyone wants to punish everybody and they're basically saying like all right we should kill them and if you yeah. don't want to kill them you want to lock them up which means you want to make somebody else some money off of their fucking problems you know everybody's so far removed and so saying so you were banned yeah, is there any do you get to argue do they say hey you you're can banned send and you an can email but it takes a couple of days like, come on twitter i was like look how many likes this has Look how many comments, like, someone literally wrote, like, dude, I just laughed out loud. Fucked up is it's an algorithm, and it's like, you're actually, not not only funny, but you're, you're, a comedian filter. you're, you're being the opposite, like, you're actually being against that. You're, uh, you're making fun of the people <laughs> who are actually saying that, and you're banned. I don't know, isn't life so funny? <laughs> Sarcasm is going to be so dead in the future. Sarcasm's dead. I don't understand. Robbie yeah. the Robot does not understand sarcasm. Car has not blanked out since I picked it up. Nice. Oh, that's good. This is, we should have brought the leg. Yo, oh, yeah, why didn't you grab it? It was sitting on the fucking couch behind you. Oh. <laughs> we can go back home and grab it. Well, we only have 22%, so. No, we're fucked. We're not going that far. You're drawing, you're painting? Well, I drew it all last night. I drew the whole thing. So I was sick the last two days. I don't really know how sick, but sick. You know that I've been playing with this drawing for yeah. a month or two. And there's a third drawing that I have to do too. That there's three parts to the series. This is the second part. I have been struggling with the drawing for a while. And then the other day I woke up and felt like complete ass. I was able to draw it. I felt like shit. I woke up, I drew it. And then went back to sleep. Then last night I felt better, so I went to Kinko's and blew it up. Nice. It was funny because I was at Kinko's or FedEx office, whatever. Yeah. Blowing it up, like sizing it and like taking my time. And the lady was like, You need any help? And I was like, No, I'm good. I'm like, whatever. Finally, she's like, Hey, are you almost done? And I was like, Yeah, chill, bitch. You know, yeah. like it's nine o'clock. She's like, We're closed. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, I'm so used to FedEx Kinko's being like 24 hours. Yeah. It didn't even dawn on me that they would Yeah, she was pretty tight about it. That's why I walked up here this morning was to get paper, because I felt that it was very Japanese. I'm not making the paper to paint on, so walking six miles to get Now we're driving But now six. we're driving back. It's yeah. like 11 today. Alex is on one today, as you can tell. Yeah, you can't, you just, <laughs> you can't. It's fencing now. <laughs> Yeah, for now, dude, no, until good. it's fucking oh. sword fighting. You have to get mad for that to happen. I'm done getting mad. Because she'll eventually say something to get you no. mad. She knows how. Uh -uh, I've uninstalled that program. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Sorry. Can't get to me. I was telling Diddy this morning on the phone. I was like, old men got it, got it right, dog. They pretend they don't know what's going on. Like, you always think the old men just don't know. Well, they know. Scroll by. I'm, sc girl, I'm scrolling by. Oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Being banned teaches you a lot. I can't comment. It teaches you not to comment on everything. Because <laughs> I can still look. My habitual ass is still looking, and I'm like, God damn it, there's so much shit I don't want to say. So many little jabs I want to take all day. So being banned is good for me for 12 hours. I mean, granted, I probably should have told a dude I'd slap him, but I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, like, in real life, if you did this, I would slap you. So why are you? Yeah. We don't have to, you don't have to talk to me. Like, like I'm not saying anything that's not true. And that's yeah. Kind of, I mean, I guess that's like assault or whatever, but like, yeah. Well, if you said if. Yeah, if you said that, 
I think that's what I said. I mean, you're just making a point. They saying. make you delete the tweet immediately. That's the problem, too. It's like some ho shit. They trick you when they send you the thing that's like you've been suspended. You've violated our rules. And then you're like, oh, okay. And you click it, and then it shows you the tweet. And then it's like, delete the tweet. So when you delete the tweet, and then it sends you into this thing where it's like, all right, now you have 12 hours. I feel like the Joe Rogan podcast put people on. Now they know what to fucking report. Yeah, learn to code. Oh, I got these haters out here, bro. I might be one of those chicks that's got deleted at 40K. Crazy. Maybe Jeff Staples trying to take me out of the game for talking so much shit. He don't got that Twitter pull. Nah. Maybe, you never know. He did do a collab with BMW and Miller the same week, but he talked shit about Jay-Z about working with corporations. No, no shade at all to Kusto. He was just on, like, Entertainment Tonight or something. Everybody's got their hand in the fucking game. You know, like, it's mainstream now. It's been mainstream. Now everybody's seeing the evidence of the mainstream interest. You know, Complex has done a really good job of hiding who funds them. People don't announce when they get bought out. Concepts being bought by Zappos. Shit, they don't ever fucking discuss what's really happening. Complex being owned by the Pablo Escobar family. Mm, it's owned by uh, it's owned by Verizon, basically. Damn. Like, right? That's why I'm AT and T. Well, where are we going today? I don't know. I found us. There's a ramen spot I heard that someone sent me. That's like uh, I can't tell anybody. It's a fire. He says it's the best in Denver. And if I tell anybody, there's gonna be a line, so I can't. God, I don't like, know if I'm ready for ramen in my stomach today. Yeah, That's the yeah. only problem. Four percent left. God. Another Godzilla in the making. Look at my suitcase. There's some, like, the cord's gotta be in there. Where is it? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be back. We have eight percent in the camera. We have two percent here. We've lost the charger. Happened, bro. I mean, we did leave him in New York. We're headed to buy a new charger. Because we don't have a charger for the fucking... Plugged it in in the Moxie, dude. We never... The last place that I remember it plugged in was in the casino. Well, I'm saying... A couple of slaps of history. If you think about it, the history books are like, it was taken by force, it was taken by war, by brute strength and determination. Into like 2007, and they're like, it was taken by social media... Outcry. We're gonna get into this like total dormant, stale, sterile society. One day someone's gonna touch someone else. Like, <gasps> we haven't had skin to skin contact since 2021. What the fuck are you doing? It's you must amazing. be decontaminating. Glass cells all frost. <laughs> Trying to decontaminate. How are you feeling? Fine. I just touched to somebody. Is this Alex calling to the party? Can't find my phone, so I'll answer it on this. Hello? Oh. You will receive $999 credit towards your next trip. <laughs> G-bar. I mean, I'm either going to have the limit lifted or I'm going to go sell it through someone else. Because eBay's not... I mean, I think that we should easily go to like $10,000. Maybe because you're new. Selling, I mean. I'm sorry? This is insane. They're going to come back and be like, we can increase it $300. Yeah, There's yeah. some stupid like, shit. Like, I'm not asking for a credit limit. Like, I'm asking for an increase. In, so what I have to sell knickknacks for fucking. Yeah. It's like they're starting your own business. This, you flip this quarter. Come yeah. Back, I'll give you a half. Yeah. You flip this half. I'll give you like for a half. month, you just got to sell like little items from around the house. Yeah. It's just fine shit to sell so I can sell the camera finally. I got to yeah. graduate like a game. It's like Call of Duty. I don't unlock the good guns until the end. Today was boring as shit sorry guys it's nothing to give you selling old cameras on ebay getting rid of the imac making room to create i'm out of here we're gonna go ship those few things and then i'm gonna get this little uh 30 percent off yeah free teddy tonight peace well there you go you found it where was it, it was, it's in the closet of that room like i put the computer down and there's a little wire sticking out and i Okay, I just got back. So every morning now, I have my morning phone meetings with Jay on the phone. That's why it's a phone meeting. Got a croissant. Uh, I've also started to drink lattes, which is a weird thing. Today, my latte was terrible. It's 8.45. Uh, yesterday was basically organizing, solidifying the shit. You know what I mean? Three and a half miles isn't far, but when you just cook it out like that, it gets tired. Anyway, I'll be back. Let me get this jacket off. 
I'm going to tell you how you're the worst. Yeah, dog, let's do it. Yesterday, we were talking about eBay, putting shit on eBay. Yeah. I told you about pricing. Uh huh. Like, start the bids low. Yeah. You don't bid on shit. You were like, no, what if, what if it doesn't set? Like, what, point? what if someone only bids $11 on your computer? Yes. You sell it for $11, because that ever happens in the world. I fixed the bids on everything except for the lens. The lens is worth $200. You put the starting bid at $115. And as soon as I changed it to $5, people started bidding on it. I put it lower. I think when I then repicked the product. No, listen, when I repicked the product, like I put in the product of the lens and it puts in all the, I don't know how eBay works until yesterday. Oh man, I'm just living my life out here, you know, trying to get by. It's going good. Are we drawn today or what's the plan? Why do you act like there's a play ever been a plan in our lives? I don't know. You do this like once a month, come over, you're like, what's the plan? I'm ready for some action. What do you want to do? I don't know. We can't get food. What action do you want? I don't know. Maybe ice skating. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Art galleries. I'm not going to an art gallery with you. It's the last place I'd go with you. Dude, I'm an art gallery maniac. You're a maniac. I'm ready. I like these angles. Ah! Well, you want to go Lao Wang? I do want to go Lao Wang. Let's do it. Tweeting up a storm today. Yeah, I did see you. I gotta chill though. Mind my P's and Q's now. Yep. Now that I, got, I know I got sharks in these waters. Yeah, dog. They're out to get you. No. NMDs aren't dead, you just didn't get them. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is. This girl don't start setting shit back to fucking Teddy Grahams when she gets out. Especially since she, j this girl will do this. She literally got in the car to move it last night because she didn't like that parked on the curb. And she had to I think I'm parked on the she curb. Really bad. Yo, I'm precision with it. Even try, like I try not to park on it, I'm on it. So I'm just like living with it. Why is it slanted? Why is what? Why the fuck is the curb slanted? I don't know. I wouldn't be parking on it if it wasn't slanted. I feel like but they want you to park on it. What is the point? Is it, you're supposed to park on it? Maybe. And skateboarding, it taught me how to ollie yeah. up curbs better because they didn't have to even eat shit. But now, as an adult, I literally can park on them like it's like they're dying. Maybe it's for skaters. Yeah, that's gonna help you. Mm -hmm. uh, this won't make you walk. <laughs> what you got, man? What's up? What's going on with you? Nothing. I wish I had interesting stuff. No? You got nothing? Yeah, nothing. No Kodak news? No. Mr. Fuck Young and Man. You don't ever want to talk about him when he said he wanted to pipe down a lesbian. Yeah. That, you know that's the only person he follows on Instagram now? It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> always be careful with the speed here. They always wait here coming down this hill and just pop people all day long. They sit on these side streets, these fucks. Fucking cop bitches. <laughs> straight auto drive on them with 28. Yeah. I don't even give them a fucking second to place. Yep. Not really supposed to auto drive right here. Really? Well, like, there's lines and shit, but like, see this line on the right's about to disappear? Yeah. I'm gonna confuse the shit out of the car. It's really only supposed to be for highway driving. Oh, if you were selling a red car on eBay, someone would fucking message you and ask just to buy the red paint. Get insane. The camera is at buy it now for what, 2,000 bucks or something? Yeah. Dude sends me a message and it's like, I would like this camera for four hundred dollars, shipped to me for free. Thank you. No. He's like, sorry, I don't need the five lenses and all the stuff. I'm just getting into photography. Possibly later, I'll buy the lenses from you. Like, how big was the crack rock that you fucking hit? This yeah. Thing? You know, it's like one. Yeah. Like, all right. So one dude's like, will you take six hundred for the computer? I was like, yes. If you multiply that times three. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I'm yeah. just gonna take six hundred for this two thousand dollar computer. Like, just because. The Gettysburg address. The Teddy's What am I addressing? The We're addressing the fact that one of us is going to Japan in a week. One of us is not. I'm not. Um, Ern opted to go on a Kohi tour again. Well, instead yes. Instead of going to Japan. So. Well, he doesn't get to. So this, that's why we're going around way for lunch today. I don't know if you're explaining taste of the flavors. Explaining this clearly, Teddy's going on more of a Ronin mission, a solo ninja type of Japanese art mission. Well, 
originally I thought I would be on the tour at the same time as you. I'm not. That you didn't tell me about. I was, he never, he was literally up the nerve to tell me about, about the tour. To tell, but where we're going, my vlogging from the road this time is going to be so incredible. And you're going to see things that you guys have never seen in Germany. I don't know any German words. Don, and what, and Colorado, apparently. Like, well, yeah, that's the thing. You're and Colorado. Yes. Vlogging while I'm gone, apparently. Yes. Is what you really said. Yeah, you I'm, said you're going to make it so interesting. It is. It's going to be <laughs> captivating, mind blowing type of stuff. What the hell is that panda bear it's hanging to its death? Get ready for it. This is gonna, things are gonna be a little different. Um, oh, you're gonna do one of those YouTube announcements. I love when YouTubers make announcements. You know, we're, we got big things coming. Yeah, big things big, in the right. work right, right now. Yep. Things we can't talk about. Some secret big things, and then some regular big things. Grown oh, man business, that's real that's shit. That's my friend, 20. Yeah, you, we're, yeah we're moving different <laughs> now. We're out here moving completely different. I am different. moving different. I'm little autonomous. Little Autonomous, yeah. autonomous driving. Four, five, five, five. Better hope there's not a fucking line, 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 line. Nah, there ain't gonna be a line. Yeah, we're early, dog. We got there early, unless some fucking stupid ass tent top pulled up, like. Right white now. people. Right now they like to have those lunch meetings. Yeah. Hey guys, let's go to Lao Wang today. Take up the whole restaurant. <laughs> yeah. There's no room and there's no music, so everyone can hear every word that yeah. we say. Back at the Lao Wang Noodle House. I like these more than the um, dim Thai fong. You were out of here. I do. because he had these. <laughs> Maybe. We got dumplings, we got coffee, now it's back to painting. It's not the most eventful two days, but a lot of work that's getting done. I don't know what you want from us, motherfuckers. We can't, can't just no do this every day. I want to make a formal apology to anyone in Australia. I don't know why I said fuck Australia when I was drunk. I love Australia. I'd like to go to Australia one day. You also called Dr. Seuss, Dr. Zeus. Dr. Zeus. Hi. Hi. Hi, big dogs. Hi. Go. Oh. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? Okay. Okay. You can't take that outside. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. No. Drop it. You gotta drop it. Drop it, dude. Hey! You got me out here sound like a cop, man. Alright, then we're staying home. Very tired, actually, but I got coffee. It is time to finish tracing the outline of this drawing onto watercolor paper and get to work, I do believe. What you think, Gavin? Time to get to work? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't want to say they're boring. It has not been boring. I just think before I get into this footage, it's just been all, all over the place. So essentially, just to catch everybody up to speed, I'm going to Japan next week. April 1st, I leave, or April 2nd. I'm in LA April 1st. I am taking a tattoos in LA and Japan. LA is basically booked. If you're in LA and you want something, hit me up like super soon. Teddy tattoo me at gmail.com. And Japan, I'm kind of booking some days here and there. I don't really know. Hit me up because I don't know where I'm going to be in Japan. I'm probably going to scoot around a little bit this time. I really have no idea, but I'll probably take the train at least to some other place, at least for a day. So yeah, just kind of preparing for that. And then obviously this is kind of centered around this new painting I'm doing. So I've been working on, everybody knows Mecha God. Mecha God was the old painting. Uh, this new one, uh, I don't know what you've seen in this vlog, but the new series, there is no fire. There's three parts to the painting series. Uh, each have their significance. So I guess my first, what I need to do first, is explain what the first Mecha God is since it's out. Because um, the other ones won't really make sense if I don't explain this one. So anyway, first Mecha God, the one that you have, the one that you've purchased, the one that you've seen, the sticker, the background, that one back there on the wall, I don't know if you can even see it with this angle. That one over there. You know, Mecha, an anime or sci-fi or whatever, is generally a robotic version is generally a robot that is piloted by someone else I mean, not usually inside of it necessarily but piloted by someone else and when i when i think of mecca though i do think of someone being inside of it i think of i always think of an inner child i always think of like a kid operating a thing you know i don't ever think of an adult i don't know why that is it just is um could be from ninja turtles uh, krang I know he's not a child he's a brain but still like something about it anyway so essentially Mecha God is, in this instance, is sort of a self-portrait. This Mecha God that we've already released is, you know, he's shooting fire out of his face. There's fucking flames all around him. 
volcanoes going off. It's just, it's a, you know, it's not a chill situation. It's not a chill environment. The one, the one that's released represents the armor that you have to build up around you to survive. The warfare that you have to engage in to excel. What we build up around ourselves, a sense of protection to survive. Like that's essentially what the mecha god is to me. And he's battling it out, he's shooting fire and flames, and uh, really no regard for anything that's in his way. So that was the first version, is out, not coming out again. So we've, we've done that one. This one, uh, just like everything in life, you know, there comes a time where you have to reflect on the damage that you've done. That's where this version comes in, and this new version is uh, mecha god, I'm calling it meta god. Um, he's meditating, he's in the snow, it's a new season, there's no more violence. Uh, I had the dilemma of drawing it, so the first first one that I drew was super hard, you know, like I had never tried to draw a mecha god before. So that first version I drew um, using a fuckload of reference, there's an old, there's an old poster that that one's referenced off of. This is really hard, like I did not know how to draw it, I didn't know all the parts, I didn't know everything. But the way that this thing is going now, I had a dilemma, the last week or so, Japan, I've just been drawing Mecha God like fucking crazy. Uh, just every chance I get, I draw his head or a leg or an arm or something. Like, I just keep drawing pieces of him, which helped me learn because it was really hard to get him in a yoga position. It was like fucking super difficult to draw. By e learning each piece, learning how everything worked, blah, 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 blah. And I feel comfortable with this drawing, and I'm super hyped to get it done. Because what I'm really trying to do is get to the third piece. The third piece, I really love the second piece. The third piece is going to make it all make sense. And this third drawing is going to be super difficult to do as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of like in this mode where I want to get this little trilogy finished and fucking move on with my life because I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, and then Japan, I'm going to Japan, one, to go eat more amazing food because being home, it's really kind of whatever. Like I just do, it's just, I mean, just, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't, I don't love American food anymore. It's the biggest drawback of this whole shit. But I'm also going to put together a presentation for a company that hasn't promised me shit. I have some friends in this company and they haven't promised me anything. The only thing I've been promised is a meeting. So I feel like in order to step into that meeting without just some fucking internet jargon, I can put together a themed pitch that revolves around what I would want to do with the company anyway. And I can do that in Japan. So, I miss Toshi, I'm gonna to go back and hang out with Toshi. I might possibly have some stores that want to carry some specific shirts in Japan. Uh, sourcing new garments, things I can't get here, and making those meetings and connections and talking to people, which with the language barrier takes time. It's kind of the whole vibe right now. I don't really know what to do. I just know that I want to create, and I know I have these ideas, and I have certain things that I want to do, like learn how to paint on rice paper better, um, just like, yeah, I don't know, like right now my brain is in active chase and create mode, so just going with it. That, that's why we're going, that's why I'm going back to Japan. As far as shoes go, I don't think I have shit coming in. It's literally just been free hikers for life. I have not fucking worn anything else, like free hiker after free hiker. I'll throw on an NMD here and there, or an ultra boost, but honestly, the way you sit down on a free hiker is the most comfortable thing for me, that there's been, so that's all I've been wearing, uh, which is weird. I got a lot of Ultra Boost NMDs, and I still like them, but yeah. So probably a shoe sale coming up before Japan too, just to get rid of some more stuff, make some more room. There's a lot of cool shit coming out. I'm supposed to go meet up with the Terex people here in Colorado, but I don't know if that's gonna be before or after Japan. I hit them up, I'm pretty sure I mailed them last. Yeah, they, they didn't hit me back, but mid next week. Um, so I'm gonna go up there. I got some really cool shit coming. Um, in conjunction with stock X I can't really say what's happening yet but there's some cool shit happening I'm really excited we got time to meet over the last week figure out how to move forward so I'm super hyped and you should be too because it's gonna fucking affect some of you well it's just cool I just got a cool way to do what I need to do Yeezys I don't really care about 700 so much because I don't wear them as much I like the V I want to check out the V2 but I want a black and 3M version which we're gonna get so I'm not really fucking with that, like too crazy. I think they're great. I love the way the shoe looks on feet. And I, like I've said, I find myself wearing, I was finding myself wearing them more before, but I don't really find myself wearing them now. Cause again, free hikers. Clays are about the only, I mean, I like the three that are coming out regionally. I think the regional thing is kind of silly, but I like the, the clays the best anyway, to be honest. So I'm kind of cool with it, whatever. I know I can fill the gaps at StockX too, if I need to. Uh, what else is there to catch you guys up on? I don't know, man. Uh, Omar has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Shipping everything that's from us is shipped. You should not be waiting on anything from us. There is a sale on the, on the site right now. 
30% off at Free Teddy, but you have to go to the catalog. And then, oh, and we have a drop Saturday. Saturday at noon Eastern time. So I'll start saying Eastern time. Two years, I still have not educated people on what mountain time is. Noon, Eastern time, Saturday, March 23rd. Oh, it's Teddy.com. The hippie cry drop for the public. Don't sleep. It's not getting restocked. Friends and family, y'all already got your last look book. Everybody's handled. I think we're good. We'll call it a day. All right. Love y'all.